Hello and welcome to Gloucester Golf Club. So you want to use the driving range? Well, the driving range has been refurbished. New mats, new balls, new targets, a range cafe and top tracer. Which is an absolutely wonderful tool to help you with your practice. Let's go down the path and see what it's all about. Well this is the range cafe. This is where you can come down and get your tokens for your balls. We've got drinks and snacks over there. We've got bags full of old clubs over there, so if you're a complete beginner and you need to borrow some, well we've got some. Also, if you're not used to using Top Tracer, then the gentleman here can help you use the machine to your best advantage. Now to use the range, you have to book in on the website. So you book your time, you book which bay you want to use, how many balls you want and how many people there are. So if you want to play a round of golf in the winter without all of that walking in the cold, you can get four guys on a bay and go and play Pebble Beach. And if you're having a few bevies, perhaps one of you ought to be the designated driver. Now let's get on the bay. Well, as you can see here, the bays are enormous. So coming down with your mates and playing Pebble Beach, for instance, is not a problem. You'll all fit in these bays. In basic practice mode, the system will tell you your ball speed, curvature, angle of descent, how far you've carried it, and how far it rolls out. There's no need to tell it what club you're using, you just simply strike away. I use this for most of my basic practice. And by the looks of it, I need some. So what do you do if your practice isn't going so well? Well, you need professional help. So give Stuart a call and he'll be able to sort you out a couple of lessons and get you back on the right track. So when we're in gapping mode, we tell it what club we're using and simply strike the ball. We hit about 10 balls and from that we can work out our average carry, which is far more important than that one shot that you hit a very long way last summer. From there we can now go and actually play golf holes. So not only is it showing me my average distance, it's also showing me my dispersion there on the right hand side. And I can do this for every club in the bag. So in par 3 mode, or nearest the pin mode, we get to hit at a real green and see the result. When you're just hitting balls on the range at a flag, a shot that isn't going straight at the flag we may consider to be poor. But in the real world, we end up on the green. One thing us golfers are very good at is beating ourselves up about a poor shot. But now you can see that it wasn't so bad after all. One thing you must be aware of though, this is not a studio. So if there is wind out there on the range, then that is going to affect how far the ball goes. So it teaches you a bit of clubbing in the wind. There are an awful lot of par threes on the system, so you can pick any one for any club, from the mid 85 yard all the way over 200. So you can do this with virtually every club in the bag, and it's a hell of a lot of fun. So I managed to play a couple of par threes, 
course the ultimate is to play an entire round of golf at a famous golf course on that. Now, if you take your phone and download the Top Tracer app, you can keep track of all your stats and play games and challenges with people on your golf course and perhaps at other golf courses too. So you can go whole hog with this. Gloucester's split level driving range. 13 bays, a teaching bay and the range cafe. Of course one of the things that Gloucester promotes are junior lessons and junior coaching and we've arrived on the evening that the juniors are here. So they're going to hit some balls for us and tell us what they like about the system. Right, so I'm here with the juniors. We've got Henry. We've got Henry. Sam. Sam and Josh. Josh. Right then, guys, what do you like best about the Top Tracer system? Playing all the courses. So we've got one vote for playing all of the different courses, the expensive courses that we can't afford to play, and we've got. I quite like doing the hole in one jackpots. So here's one of the challenges is the hole in one jackpots where you can enter and have your go at getting a hole in one and winning the main prize. I love doing the closest to the pins. And we got a closest to the pins, which is what I like, because this is what bases most of my practice, is hitting irons into par threes. Well, thank you very much. One of the things that you can learn from Top Tracer is how far you hit the ball through the air, with your average shot, not with your Sunday best. A lot of people think of how far they hit the ball as being the total distance. But if you're playing to an island green, total distance means nothing, you need to know the carry. And this machine will show you all of that. When you're on the upper bays, because you're so far above ground level, then it will show you what they call the flat carry. So if the ground had been totally flat, it will show you where you interface with the ground. Whereas, because you're elevated, it's going to go a fair bit further. Now, what we've got on the screen here, which is great, which we try to teach the juniors from a very early age, is we can see that we've got uh, a sand iron which has gone 84 yards through the air, but it's only gone a total distance of 85 yards. So, from a very early age, they get an understanding of how far the ball goes through the air, and then what it does when it reacts once it hits the green or it hits the fairway, and then the ball will still roll. With the top race system, when you play virtual golf, you don't actually putt. Instead of putting, you actually hit a lot of 50 yard shots. So, it measures that on where the ball lands, as opposed to when you're playing the virtual golf and you're more than 35 yards away, because the ball will only be tracked once it's gone past 35 yards. You have to then allow for the ball to land and then roll out to its finished distance. So you are learning of how far you want to hit the ball through the air and where you want that ball to finish. When you go into your my, my practice, you look at where we've got a 7 iron which has gone 148 through the air and a total distance of 152. You also see the sort of direction you've hit the ball, how much curve you've put on it. And we've got a driver which has gone 231 and it's finished at 258. So it's a really good learning tool as well for, for anybody getting into golf, especially for kids that are a young age, that they do learn how to actually manage their golf on the on a golf course as opposed to how far do I want this ball to go through the air and where do I want that ball to finish, which is not as easy as it sounds. And there's a lot of people think they hit the ball a lot further than they actually do. And if you don't know how far you hit the ball, the game becomes very hard. Okay, thank you very much. Don't forget, get on the website. Book yourself a bay and we'll see you down here. Cheerio.